Hi friends, welcome back to PS Desire. Today I want to share with you an exciting photo editing tutorial where I will show you a straightforward technique to fix overexposed photos. I will also provide you with some handy tips to make your final photo look stunning and breathtakingly beautiful. Are you ready to get started? Let's dive in. Here is the photo that I am going to work on for this demonstration. Take a look at the photograph and you can easily see that it's overexposed which means the brightness is too high and this issue needs to be addressed before we can continue with the editing process. So let's fix the overexposure problem first. To do this go to channels and click on this dotted circle icon. It will select the bright areas in the photograph. Now we will go back to layers panel and select adjustments then choose exposure. Here we will adjust the gamma correction slider to correct the exposure problem. If your photo is underexposed, move the slider to the left. If your photo is overexposed, like the one we are working on, move the slider to the right side. In this case, adjusting the slider to something around 0.29 seems to be effective in correcting the exposure issue. After adjusting the gamma correction, you should adjust the exposure level accordingly. In this case, exposure level of 0.03 seems to be appropriate. Okay. Now look at the photograph. This simple technique allows you to quickly fix any blown out or overexposed photos and achieve a more balanced exposure in your photographs. Alright. Now we are going to take this photo to the next level and give it a cinematic feel. To do this we will use some built in presets. So first we need to open the adjustments panel and select color lookup from the options. From the drop down menu we will choose the teal orange plus contrast preset. This preset gives the photo a cool teal tint that you often see in Hollywood movies. However, we don't want this color effect to be applied to the entire photo, especially not the skin tones and other bright areas. To do this, we need to select the layer mask by clicking on it. Then we can go to image menu and select apply image. In the pop-up dialog box that appears, we need to make sure that the invert option is checked. This will ensure that the color effect only applies to the dark parts of the photo and not the skin tones or other bright areas. Once we have checked the invert option, we can click OK to apply the effect to the layer mask. After applying the teal orange preset, you may notice that the skin tones look a bit too blue. To fix this, you can add another color lookup adjustment layer and select the edgy amber 3D loot preset. This will give the photo an orange tint. To apply this color effect only to the skin tones and highlight areas, you will need to select the layer mask, then go to image menu and select apply image. In the pop-up dialog box, uncheck the invert option. This will limit the color effect only to the highlights of the photo, which includes the skin tone. But this is too intense to my taste, so let's bring it down a bit. We can do this by lowering the fill opacity by around 30 percent okay and this looks good now I want to add a vignette and we can do it in a lot of ways in Photoshop but I prefer to do using the gradient fill click on this gradient bar and choose black to white gradient now change the black color to 50 percent gray and the white color to black click OK now change the style to radial angle to 90 degree, adjust the scaling to your preference. Now change the blend mode to soft light. So this vignette effect is looking heavy. Let me lower the opacity a little bit. Anything around 50% looks good. Okay, all right. The image looks a little bit of flat. So I want to add some shine to bright areas so that it doesn't look flat. For that, I will add one more gradient fill. In the gradient editor, choose black to transparent gradient. Now change the black color to white. Change style to radial. Method to classic. 
and adjust the scale accordingly then click ok now change this to color dodge adjust the fill opacity to around 30 percent now click on the gradient thumbnail and open the gradient fill now drag the effect and place it wherever you want i want to add some shine to her face so let me place it here now duplicate this layer again open gradient fill let's put this on these rocks to add some shine again duplicate the adjustment layer and open the gradient fill let's put this on the clouds to make it bright and vibrant you can also keep on doing this trick to add some shine to any specific parts in your photograph Finally let me add some to these flowers as well because they are white so add some bright shine to it. And remember all layers are non-destructive so we can open any layer and make adjustments to our needs and make it look beautiful and awesome. This gives you more control over the final result and allows you to make any changes at any point in the editing process. You can also go back and fine tune each layer to achieve the desired look for your photo. So don't be afraid to experiment and play around with different settings and adjustments until you get the perfect results. ok good now select all layers and right click and select group from layers this will create a new group containing all the selected layers and that's it guys here is the before and after editing that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe for more photoshop tutorials please hit the bell to turn on notifications so that you never miss any update from my channel see you guys in my next video take care happy editing